Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I'm going to help you with using the distributive property and combining like terms. Here's our first problem. First thing we're going to do is use the distributive property because there's an x or a variable in the parentheses. But right now, I'm going to make the plus 2x at the end go away so we don't get confused. All right, now it's just like the other videos. First, you multiply the 4 times the x, and that's 4x. The next step is to bring down the operation, the subtraction sign. And finally, you multiply the 4 times the 5, which is 20. Let's make that end part appear. It's not part of the distributive property. You just bring it down. All right, now I want you to look at this problem, and you can see that you can combine 4x plus 2x. Look at it. If you have 4x's, there's 4, and you add on two more x's, don't you have 6x's or 6x? That's what you do to combine like terms. So the answer is 6x minus 20. Okay, let's try it again. Again, I'm going to make that minus 3p at the end go away. And we'll look at it in a minute. And all we're going to do is focus in on the distributive property. And we use the distributive property because there's a variable in the parentheses. That's why you use it. First, I multiply the 5 times the 2, and that's 10. The next thing you do is you bring down your operation. So I bring down the subtraction sign. And then I multiply the 5 times the p, or 5p. Now let's make the end part of this problem appear again. I'm just going to bring it down. All right, I can see that I can combine some like terms. I have negative 5p and negative 3p. The signs are the same, so I add them together. It's 8, and then I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. So I have negative 8p. And ultimately, the answer is 10 minus 8p. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this one. This time, I'm not going to get rid of the end of it. Remember, the distributive property is only with the, this number multiplied what's inside of the parentheses. First, it's 2 times y, which is 2y. Bring down your operation, so I bring down my subtraction sign. And now I'm going to multiply 2 times 4, which is 8. Okay, I'm done with the distributive property, and I bring the rest of the problem down. I can see that I can combine like terms. I have a positive 2y and a negative 4y. The signs are different, so I subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then I use the sign in front of the biggest digit. So it's negative 2y. This problem simplifies to negative 2y minus 8. You're finished. You did a good job.